representing the yellow side. Give it up for a Tiger Lily. This poem is really important to me. It's about 10 years old. See, don't turn away, because I caught you staring. You seem to have a problem with it, so I'm going to let you know all about my hair. You see, in each fan lies a story, from mother to daughter to grandma to auntie. To know about it is to have an insight about me. You see, my hair can stand up straight like a soldier in a cavalry, or for lack of a better word, my hair is just plain old nappy. My hair has been fried, dyed, and slicked to the side. Twisted, burned, turned, clipped, whipped, crimped, blown out, grown out, and then just torn out. Like the many sides of my being, my hair has taken on many formations. Some were absolutely beautiful, and others called great humiliation. But I'm stuck on the black woman's fixation, and use her hair to aid her in assimilation. You see, you assimilated because you believed them when they told you that you and your hair were ugly. Oh, black girl, cover up your hair so I don't have to see the one thing that makes me realize how unique you are to me. They told you when they told you when so it finally sunk in. Then the hair processes did begin. It started off kind of slow, but ended up like a drug with every fluff of the ends and every painful tug. What's this? A comb? A fire? Something new has just transpired. Sitting in the kitchen, grease all up on your neck. Clenching your teeth as you start to sweat. Praying that your mother will make a move that you will soon regret. Then after that, you didn't play when she told you to hold your ear back. Girl, you wouldn't get burned if you would just relax. Yeah, yeah. Relax? Relax? You telling me to relax? I wish my hair would just relax. I wish my hair would be so free. I just wish my hair wasn't so ugly. You see, instead of connecting with your spiritual, you commence a six-week to three-month ritual. An inferno upon your head for beauty's sake. A fire that commence your whole body to quake. You can't move as you wait for that permutate. Take it out, take it out. I can't take it all more. Take it out. So we finally did. Cause we no longer saw what you were seeing. We found out we were Nubian queens. It was on the page of every Ebony and Essence magazine. Didn't come second on nobody's list. Fall for any more of your tricks. Black beauty was something we could no longer resist. Afro chicks with they Afro picks rolled with they Afros and they rolled thick because they were beautiful. Beauty came naturally. They were naturally beautiful, but wait a minute. Something bad's about to happen. Something evil is about to unfurl. A fool is born and he invents the jerry curl. Lord. You wouldn't dare steal anything because you know they catch you quick. All you got to do is follow the drips, follow the drips, follow the drips. Shower cap on your head when you wanted to go to bed. Black people's couches were a mass hysteria. Afraid to let people in like that family from coming to America. But for what? Because you believed them when they told you that you and your hair were ugly. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. Because what you did backfired in a way. Because now they're the ones that can't relate when I talk about jam, burger, man, or sulfur, eh? Now they're the ones that can't get down with me when I talk about TCB. Now they're the ones that have no notion when I talk about cramps in the neck from that jerky motion or regaining your sanity with every drop of pink lotion. See? <laughs> Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? amen? You don't have to like my hair. My hair is not for you to see. My hair is just for me. Just for me. Just for me. My hair is just for me. It's something that comes so naturally. Can't believe how much it's grown. It's like my hair is powerful. Nappy hair, the sister that broke your comb. Don't forget where you come from, said. Nappy headed, locks dreaded, I don't regret it. Twisted a whip, zombies wax. Hair is beautiful, do believe that. Afros, cornrows, no matter how you put it, your hair is beautiful. <laughs> I have it to say.